Reselect the Grid, Math, Grid and Grid option that we used in the previous exercise. This time, however, we'll turn on the Create Grid Statistics Report option. When we click the Process button, we'll get the same ISOPAC as before, but there's a new tab in the upper right corner labeled Grid Statistics. Click on this tab. Minimize the menu portion of the dialog. The Grid Statistics Report has a ton of information, but the important one for this exercise is the item labeled Model Volume. We've got a million cubic meters of Leadville limestone within our project area. How do we know this? Recall from the previous exercise that the isopac grid is composed of cells representing the thicknesses at each cell midpoint. These values were computed by subtracting the lower elevations from the upper elevations on a cell-by-cell -cell basis. Given that we know the x and y dimensions of each cell as defined within the project dimensions, we're just computing the volume represented by each cell and adding them all up. 